Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Code Karen. Welcome to r slash am I the a-hole, where we have four incredible stories. If you're new to this channel, a sub would be great. Let's jump to the stories. Our first story is, am I the a-hole for telling my girlfriend's daughter that she's not my daughter, so don't expect me to open my wallet for her expenses? Me and Diomara, 12 and female, I call her Dio, have had a rough summer. She's been more defiant than usual. I've been dating her mom, Mara, 30 and female, for two years now. Nine months ago, they moved in with me, Maple, 33 and male. Both Dio and Mara have an on-again, off-again relationship with Dio's dad, Danassus. He's pretty much never paid child support, comes and goes as he pleases into Dio's life. Typical crappy part-time dad. I've tried to fill the dad role in her life while still understanding boundaries, taking things slow, etc. This summer, Dinassus decides he wants to be a real dad and takes Dio in for a month. Good for him, not my business, and Mara agrees. When Dio came back home because school started, she was a lot different. Really mean to me. Very dismissive. A few days ago, she got caught shoplifting at the mall. Security took her in and then called Mara, who didn't answer, then called Dinassus, who didn't answer, and finally me. I answered. They told me I had to pick her up or she'd be handed over to Juvenile. I didn't say anything to her while I picked her up. I apologized to security, apologized to the store. I even tipped the security guards, plus the store employees, because it's messed up that they had to deal with that. I assured them Dio would be punished appropriately. I'm speaking to Dio in a strong, affirmative voice while we're in the car. Not yelling, but in a fatherly tone, I suppose. I'm telling her how messed up it is to steal, and how I don't mess with thieves, and how I absolutely don't voluntarily mess with the police, so I don't appreciate any of this, nor will I accept it in my house. She snaps back that I'm not her dad, so don't ever tell her what to do. From now on, if I want to tell her something, I need to clear it with her real father first. That killed my soul. For the past year or so, I've treated her as my own daughter. I've paid for their housing, I've paid for her mom's car, her schooling, her food, everything. Her biological dad dropped a $100 check off one time in the past year. The check bounced, so I had to call him and he brought cash over. I told Mara about all of this. She was appalled at what Dio said, but she never made Dio apologize because she's not wrong. You're not her dad. A couple of days later, Dio asks me for some money to pay for her uniform and accessories she needs for a sport she's involved in. I say, go ask your dad. She scoffs and says her dad doesn't have the money for it, so I have to pay for it. I tell her I'm not her dad, so don't ever tell me what I have to pay for. She cried to Mara, who tells me I'm not being an adult about the situation. Mind you, I never received an apology or a thanks for our entire previous situation. Mara says Dio is a kid, and I need to stop acting like a kid too. So, am I the a-hole for not wanting to be a human ATM, or should I act like a mature adult? Our second story is, am I the a-hole for walking out on a double date my friend set me up with a girl I had already rejected numerous times before? Cast. Me, 25 and male, Joe, 26 and male, and Jane, 24 and female. To give you a little background to the situation, Joe's girlfriend had a birthday party last year, and that's when I first met Jane. At first, Jane was fun to talk to, but not even an hour later, Jane was really into me and tried really badly to hit on me during the party, which pretty much ruined my time there, as the feeling was not mutual in the slightest bit. Also, at the time, I was already with someone. So the first impression I got from Jane was that she was clingy, annoying, and just wouldn't stop bothering me. Unfortunately for me, she became part of my larger friend group because she is part of Joe's girlfriend's friend group. That is a mouthful, sheesh. And because me and Joe hang out a lot, I am also friends with his girlfriend. I pretty much run into her at minimum twice a month. So the first time Jane asked me out was a month after that party. I informed her I was with someone and not interested. She tried again two months later when I broke up with my then-girlfriend. Again, I declined her advances and told her I was not interested. 
I got into a new relationship not long after, but unfortunately, she and I broke up about two months ago. Since then, as you might have anticipated, Jane has asked me out again, and I said no again. Well, that brings us to this week. Everything has been opening up here, and Joe had been trying to fix me up with a friend of his girlfriend and would not tell me who it is. He is well aware of me having rejected Jane multiple times and the fact I am not interested in her. He knows this in detail. After a lot of what he calls convincing, but I call it whining, I had no interest in dating anytime soon. I relented and decided to agree to this double date idea of his. We agree to meet at Joe's apartment and lo and behold, Joe, his girlfriend, and Jane are at the dinner table. Obviously, they set me up for a double date with Jane. I honestly just got so darn angry that I couldn't even get a single word out. I turned around and left. I have been bombarded with texts and calls about how much of a jerk I am and how terribly I hurt Jane and so on, and I am just like, I literally rejected her like three times. I am not interested in her. You knew that. Your girlfriend knew that. Our entire friend group has a running joke about obsessive Jane, so literally everyone knows it. So am I the a-hole for walking out on this double date setup from H-E-double-L? Our third story is, am I the a-hole for offering a drink to a girl in a bar and then not paying for it? I'm 23 and male and a few months ago I was at a nice bar in Toronto with my boys and I saw this really hot girl. I decided to shoot my shot and we spoke and danced for a bit and I offered to buy her a drink and she gladly accompanied me to the bar. When I got there, I was like, can I have a beer and whatever she wants? She promptly says, can I get four double shots of 1942? That's like $75 a shot for a double of 1942. And I was like, WTF. And she said the shots are for her friends and patted me on the back. When the bartender came back, I slapped a $10 bill on the table and told him she'd be covering the shots and walked away. She was super mad and yelling the normal insult, LOL. Well, it turns out my mom works with this hot girl and they were talking and my mom showed her a picture of me. Thanks, mom. And she instantly recognized me and remembered my name and told my mom about what I did. My mom then called me and said I'm a huge a-hole and told me to send her the cost of the four drinks, which was like $325 with tip. I just laughed and told my mom I am not doing that. And my mom said that the girl thinks I'm a huge a-hole and she agrees with her. LOL. Am I the a-hole for being a chump and not paying for these drinks, or am I just smart and refuse to be taken advantage of? Our last story is, would I be the a-hole if I told a close family friend that her husband cheated on her four years ago? So my situation is a little difficult, so I thought I would confide in the good professional people of Reddit. A couple days ago, me and my brother were hanging out late one night doing regular guy things, drinking, watching sports, etc. We haven't seen each other in maybe five to six years, so naturally we started talking about life and what's been going on the past few years. Towards the end of our conversation, we started to get to the secrets. I mentioned something along the lines that I smoked weed for the first time and had various other substances. This was hard for me to tell him because my whole life I was pretty much anti-drugs and such. We both laughed about it, saying, just don't let mom find out. The joke died out after a little bit, and then he just blurted out, I cheated on my wife. At first it didn't register until I saw his face, and he was dead serious. I, for one, hate cheaters, but I try to do my best not to judge anyone for their actions. He begins explaining this was something that happened about four years ago when his wife was always busy with work. She would travel a lot and be away for weeks at a time. He told me that they were going through a tough time back then, lots of arguing, not communicating, and that he felt really lonely. During this same time, my brother met a girl at his local gym, started off as friends, slowly kept bonding, and you guessed it, they did have sex. He told me this occasion only happened once, and he pretty much cut her off after that night because he started to feel guilty for a short while. A few months later, his relationship turned for the better for him and his wife. Pretty much after his wife's traveling slowed down, his whole relationship has been great. They've both gotten promotions, bought a house, more family vacations. They have a kid. 
He told me life has been good to him now, and he's just thankful things have finally worked out. As stated before, I hate cheaters, and I've always felt that the person being cheated on always has the right to know. I know for sure this would probably destroy their marriage, and there would be a fight for the kid. My heart tells me I have to tell her because it's the right thing to do, especially because I've known my brother to cheat one other time on an ex-girlfriend a couple years before his current wife. My brain tells me it's none of my business and I should keep my mouth shut. I don't want to see their kid go through that kind of pain either. On one hand, I betray my brother if I say something. On the other hand, I betray a close family friend because I know the secret and I don't say anything. I wish he never told me. Ignorance is truly bliss. Edit. I'm referring to my sister-in-law as a close family friend because my family and her family have known each other since elementary school days and are very close. I thought this clarification would make the relationship sound stronger than just a regular sister-in-law, but it looks like I was wrong. So there it is. Would I be the a-hole if I said something? Hey Code Karen community, what do you think? Comment below!